Welcome back, my name is Kerry, and today I'm gonna to show you a timber frame prefab home that ships worldwide. One of the many complaints received on my channel is that some of the homes featured aren't available in some of the areas people are watching from. And I get it. If you want something, you want something. And if you can't have it, you probably want it more. So when I was sent a company that ships worldwide, I knew every single person who watched the video would be happy. And some might even hit the like button for the YouTube algorithm. Clearly availability isn't the only factor that people want to know about, so strap in because there's a lot to cover. The company I'm talking about is called Boart with their line of timber frame prefab homes that have a stunning signature look. What I'm going to do is tell you about the company, check out a few of their homes, and let you know what I like about them. Boart is a subsidiary of a construction company that's been at it since 1998. Bit of a track record here. They've probably got underwear older than some of the new companies in the space. All right. I only had to see a couple of their homes on Instagram before I was pretty excited about the exteriors of these units because they've got a look that I know people get fired up about and that in turn gets me fired up. This style seems to be getting a bit of attention. I don't know if there's a term for this specific look, but if I had to put a name on it, I guess we could call it cottage chic. Not 100% sold on that, so if you think of something better, feel free to leave it in the comments. Apparently the team over at Boart consists of construction industry specialists who have more than 15 years of international business experience. Experience. This matters because they're shipping homes worldwide. It's noted they build to the requirements of the country the home is going to and they do that by cooperating with experienced architects and project officers to carry out design work. Their website says doing that ensures the client's vision and the building regulations of the corresponding country. I spent an afternoon cruising around their website so I could get a feel for what they're up to and why and one of the things that stood out to me was their list of advantages associated with modular wood frame houses. Likely the most important they've listed is their high quality. It says the house is manufactured in a factory, not on a construction site, which means the materials and production processes are protected from environmental influences like rain, snow, and wind. It's the same reason I put the pickles in a tiny bowl on my plate when I run my crackers, cheese, pickles, meat program. I don't want the wet pickles to compromise the integrity of the cracker. Who would? On top of that, the other advantages listed include shorter construction timelines, lower construction costs, unlimited architectural and construction solutions, excellent energy efficiency, structural stability, and more. I've been looking at prefab home options from around the world for years now, and for the first time ever that I've seen, a company has included the disadvantages of modular homes. Interesting. What they've noted as a disadvantage speaks to the size of the home being limited by the width of the road. What they're referring to here is if the home is fully finished in the factory, road restrictions limit the length and width of what can be built and sold. For example, you might want a home that's 34 feet wide by 34 feet long, but that's going to take up the entire road, so you can either get it shipped in two pieces if the road allows for 17 wide homes to be shipped, or you can get something that's longer to get the same total square footage in one section. It's not the end of the world, but Designs can be limited by what can be shipped and tip of the cap to them for highlighting a disadvantage. If you want to get your hands on something from Boart, they've broken their process down into seven steps. Step one is design. This is where someone would select the home that best suits their needs. Step two is earthworks and foundation construction. Step three is production. Step four is delivery. Board is building out of Latvia, so even though they ship worldwide, the further you are from Latvia, the further you're going to have to open your wallet to get this thing delivered. Latvia has become a bit of a hub for prefab home builders. There's a lot going on over there. Step five is assembly, step six is construction, and finally, step seven is landscaping. Let's check out a few of these homes. They've got a model line ranging in size from their 161 square foot office up to their 775 square foot home, and they're running a couple different exteriors that look quite smart. They've got a lot of great looking homes, but I know you don't want to be here all day, so I went through and picked out a few that I think will get the people going. The smallest home currently being offered in the lineup I picked to look at is called the Tromso at 430 square feet. I don't know about you, but I think this home embodies the new age classic cottage look the most. There's something about the dark metal roof with dark siding and dark trim that just works, and combined with the big windows on the end, I don't think they'll be getting many complaints on the exterior of this unit. And besides, people are usually pretty easy going in the comments as a rule. A common trend with this style of home is to incorporate a light wood accent, usually in the overhang section of the covered porch, but they didn't do that and I don't mind the look of this unit a bit. Inside it has a vaulted ceiling, a kitchenette that fits well in the space, and the option for a loft with an increased roof pitch. The model shown has a glass door on either side of the home along with a massive slider on the end. They gotta be setting this thing to take advantage of whatever big important view the property offers. Personally, I probably wouldn't need three doors in that amount of space, but you know what if they're there? 
you best believe I'm gonna be using them. The way they have it set up, one could potentially enter any of the three doors and still end up in the living room kitchen space. They've got a kitchenette on the wall shared with the bathroom, then a hall access to the rest of the home. Beyond the living room, they've placed the bathroom, and finally, at the end of the home, they've got a bedroom. This is a pretty common floor plan for this footprint, but they differentiate their homes with the exteriors. I've noticed when a company dials in their look and has something that works like that, a lot of times that becomes their signature look, and they carry it through the entire line without much variety but not here. They've been working on a new project that's described as their most modern design with a footprint of 516 square feet called the Ari. The biggest difference between the two models besides the added 86 square feet is the exterior. The exterior of this home will have a completely different look, mainly because of the roof and siding. So I guess pretty much everything. What they've got going here is a monoslope roof, a slick LED feature, and more windows. Looking at this thing, almost one entire half is windows with a window on the end and two huge windows on the sides. Inside, we're dealing with a very similar layout with more space in the living room kitchen. Again, it has the living room kitchen on the end of the home, bathroom in the middle, and bedroom at the back. If I could mix and match between the two homes so far, I'd go with the size and floor plan of the Ari and the exterior of the Tronso, but let's not get too far ahead of ourselves here because there's still one more to look at and maybe it'll be the perfect layout. The final home from Bort that I think needs a bit of attention adds another element into the mix and is known as the Molly. I can't even imagine how bad I've butchered these model names but the show must go on. The Molly is once again 516 square feet in size with an exterior somewhere between the other two homes shown. It's not rocking the full-on cottage vibe and it isn't fully modern either. For windows the Molly doesn't have as many as the Ari but definitely more than the Tronso and if we're talking about doors, the exact opposite would be true. What I like best about it is the kitchen. I think this moves out of kitchenette status into plain old kitchen, which is wonderful news for anyone out there who needs a little extra space to bake a loaf of bread or run a turkey dinner program. Based on everything these three homes have to offer, ideally I would be running bits and pieces from each build. I'd be running the exterior from the Tromso, the windows from the Ari, and the kitchen from the Molly to round out a nice little bow art spec. This is the point in the video that I use usually look at their pricing, but they currently are not listed and that's likely because they ship worldwide. A lot of countries have different requirements that result in varying costs to build and that can make posting the price confusing. It's noted on the website that the homes are affordable, but you can't really sign off on that without seeing how much they actually cost. Board is a prefab home company located in Latvia building a line of modulars that I think people will like the look of. If I had to put a name on it, I'll describe it as Chic Cottage until somebody comes up with something better. Or was it cottage chic? They're building wood frame homes and will apparently ship them worldwide, so an option for people all over as long as they can meet local requirements. I really like the look of what they got going on and have a feeling people will want more informed pricing, so I'll definitely be following along with what they're up to and posting updates right here on my YouTube channel. That's all I've got for today. If you like manufactured home videos, make sure to subscribe to my channel because I've got new ones coming out every single week. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one.